Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Scorpio. You guys got, for whoever this resonates with, you guys got somebody losing sleep over you. Alright? I want you to choose. So this is somebody that I feel like um, really wants you to make a first move towards them. They would pref pref prefer for you to come towards them. Um, possibly because it's you guys told this person to leave. You were the one that broke up with them. You were the one that broke things off with them. Or you were the reason that there was a separation. Or you the reason why you and this person haven't been speaking. I'm not saying that um, you guys weren't justified in making that decision. But you told this person to leave. You told them that you didn't want to be with them. Um, I feel like this person is scared to come back towards you. Because you set some type of firm boundaries with them. Um, <laughs> and it kind of hurt their feelings. But... Um, yeah, this person really wants you to come towards them. They're wanting you to kind of come and uh, break the ice here, break the silence. This person has, it's like they're very much desiring you. Um, their heart is guiding them to you, but they have fears about coming towards you. Somebody has fears of coming towards you. They're doing a lot of contemplating and thinking about this connection, but they have fears because um, this person feels like coming towards you or being with you or reconciling with you um, comes along with they would have to make a sacrifice. There's some type of sacrifice that is required for that to happen. All right. Um, this is a general collective reading. So let's see here. Why are they, let's get more information on why this person is afraid. Why are they afraid? They're afraid because you guys are so high vibrational. Yeah, it's like your vibration is so high, it, it kind of scares this person. They're intimidated by you. All right, so why did you guys tell this person, this love scares me? Yeah, this is a very intense connection that you and this person share. Um, and it has scared them. It scares them. All right. What did, why did you tell this person to leave? Why did you guys... There's more energy coming out of this person wanting you to come towards them. Why did you guys tell this person to leave? So... You guys wanted this person to make a decision about you. You wanted this person to choose you, make you a priority. And they were maybe taking the advice of some people around them. Somebody took some bad advice here. Why did my collective tell them to leave? Because this person had you waiting for too long. This person kept saying, like, be patient, with me. be patient with me. I'm not good at relationships. This is a new experience for me. I don't know how to handle this. Blah, blah, blah. And you guys are being patient with them, but I feel like they just kept you waiting. Um, you guys probably grew impatient with this person. Ah. So, you guys could have told this person, you guys probably got fed up with this person because you guys wanted to settle down. You guys wanted to have a family. You guys wanted something stable to build something. And I feel like this person, so let's see here. Why was this person, why was this person not wanting to do that? Why were they not wanting to settle down? Why were they not making a decision? What's going on here? So there was something about their circumstances that they felt like they couldn't change. They wished that things were different, but they felt like there was something about their circumstances that they had no control over. Why were they not doing this? They could have told you that they are ready at some point, but you guys knew better. Or it's just like this person wasn't really ready to take a leap of faith. Have a new beginning. Maybe they told you um, that they were. But I feel like this person wasn't being honest. Alright. Um, how did how did my collective hurt this person supposedly? How did they hurt this person? <sighs> so this person is sad because... This person was 
saying that they weren't ready. The timing wasn't right for you guys. They weren't ready to make a decision or come into union, have a, a, a union. But now I feel like you guys have distanced yourself from this person. It's like you guys have kind of gone ghost on them because they wouldn't make up their mind about this connection. And now they're hurt that you have gone ghost on them, that you pulled back your energy. Oh, you guys are so mean, huh? So mean for you to do that, for you to do what's best for you, to not let somebody string you along here. So, give me one second, guys. Why does this, what is this person, what are they, are they going to lose? What is this person going to lose that they... Hmm. I don't even feel like this person, Spirit's not, what does this person feel like they're going to lose? I hope you'll wait for me. This person is trying to, it's like this person is, is, again, they're wanting you to come towards them, show them some type of attention, some type of affection, validate them, is what I'm seeing here, because they don't know if you even still care about them anymore. Um, but... Somebody is also afraid that um, someone's family won't like them, but that's not true. They just, they're thinking that somebody's family is not going to like them. Or they think that by coming towards you, it's going to upset their family. Yeah, that's what it is. So the sacrifice, what they feel like they could lose is their family, a relationship with their family or a relationship with their children. But this person is telling you, like, they're saying that you're very important to them, but they're afraid to lose their family. All right, so. Yeah, they are waiting for you. This person has been waiting for you to come towards them. They're doing a lot of thinking, but they're not taking any action. Yes, what? This person misses you. It's like they don't know. It's like this person feels like they're in the dark about how you feel about them. This person probably is going to take some type of action towards you, but they're trying to think about it first. They're not sure if they want to yet. Mm, they're thinking about it long and hard. They're losing sleep of thinking about it. So let's dive a little bit deeper. Hmm, what do I want to use? So let's see here. All right, let's see. So what's this person, what's going on with this person? Why are they in their feelings about my collective here? I knew it was going to come out. I just compared, like I heard third party, third party, third party blaring in my head, but I wasn't going to bring that into the reading unless I, it came out. Yeah, this person had somebody else. So what they were probably afraid of losing was um, their relationship with uh, their children. All right, they had a third party that they probably had children with or a family with. Or, yeah, I've been seeing someone else and I'm having trouble choosing. What you guys are maybe waiting on for this person to decide if they wanted you or not. For a lot of you, this could have been third party. They tried to, uh, they're, they've been trying to remove all remnants of you from their life. Everything that reminded them of you, but that didn't work. <laughs> this person's losing their mind because they can't get you off of their mind, Okay. This person is getting uh, worried, guys, because um, they think that there's competition for you. They feel like you guys are moving on, that you're maybe dating other people, or that there's other people vying for your attention, and that's making this person freak out. While this person wants to act like they're not phased by this separation or this breakup or the fact that you guys told them to um, get lost, um, they're trying to act like um, they're not phased by that. But yeah, this person is very haunted. They're losing sleep. They're obsessing over things that have transpired between the two of you because this person, ah, this could have been somebody that thought 
they thought the grass was greener on the other side. So they maybe chose somebody else over you, or they thought that maybe just continuing to be a player, non-committal was um, what they wanted. They thought that was better than being in a connection with you. Now this person's worried that um, they're going to lose, that they've lost their chance with you completely. That uh, there is no hope to make things right between the two of you. Yeah, look at this, guys. Enough is enough. You guys had enough of this person. You got fed up with them. You got fed up with their empty promises. You got fed up with them taking forever to make, a, make decisions, to take action, to offer you something. Yeah, to get rid of their third parties, whatever it was. You guys got fed up. You said enough is enough. All right. So, let's see here. Yeah, this person is like feeling like they're addicted to you. They're like, why is it that I can't get it? Like, I feel like this is a person that's usually used to being able to like um, hop from person to person and not really become emotionally invested, but it was different with you. All right, for some reason, this person, it's like now this person has realized that they feel like you guys had a deeper, something deeper than just, it wasn't something just casual. It wasn't just any other relationship. This was a, probably a soul connection. And, and now that they have awakened to it, now they feel like there's hope for this connection, but... Or like they, they're hoping that there's hope for this connection. Yeah, it's like you guys went silent on this person. You pulled your energy back and that's what, why this person's losing their crap, all right? They want to know if you still care. They need to know that you still care. And now they're saying that they're ready for this relationship. They're ready to be in this connection. They've awakened to it. They know that they have feelings for you and they're ready to embrace them, express them. But this person is like, on the other hand, they're like, I don't know. I feel like I've done too much damage. Like, I don't know if this is repairable. You know what I mean? This person is just, they wear masks, guys. This person hides how they're truly feeling. They don't reveal their true selves very easily. This person's trying to act like they're not phased by this separation, but that's not true. They're trying to act like they're not phased that um, you have pulled your energy back from them, but that they're losing it in the inside. They feel very guilty for whatever they did to you as well. All right? It's like they feel regret. They hope that you can forgive them. This person, but there's something here about their, this person's circumstances. This person doesn't know if like, because of whatever circumstances they're in, if it's a good idea to come towards or if they're even able to do that, or if that's a good idea that they feel like they're, it's kind of like their hands are tied up. Um, so yeah, I don't have the ability to love you right now. I already have too much on my plate. So they have some type of other obligation in their life. Um, that is making them feel like they don't know if they can give you what you deserve. Even, even though they desire to come back into union with you, there's still some type of blockage here. All right. So, let's see here. Yeah, there's something about timing here. The time, they just kind of feel like the odds have been against this connection in their eyes. They just feel like there's too many obstacles. There's too many sacrifices that would need to be made. Um, it's like this person needed to meet you halfway before and they didn't. I feel like this was too, this person was too much worried about what they had to lose. And they didn't, it was like, you guys were willing to make sacrifices for this person. This person was too focused on what they had to sacrifice. They weren't even noticing how much you were sacrificing for them. They took that for granted. I don't know, guys. Whatever it is that the, there's this blockage or whatever, I'm going to try to get more information on what this blockage is. Um, but it's like they're tired of waiting for something in their life to improve or to change or to come to an end. So it looks like this person's going to take action anyways. So, I mean, that could create some problems if they haven't completely eliminated a, a blockage and they're just going to plan on coming towards you. 
this person does want to build have something more solid with you guys what did i just say this person's about to take a risk this person still hasn't wrapped up something in their life something is still a blockage in their life or a problem but they're so worried about losing you that they're going to take a risk here yeah they don't really feel like the timing is quite right they still have some um some crap going on in their life but they're gonna they think you're worth a risk so they're still gonna risk like they they know that they may lose something or that there's a sacrifice involved in this yeah they're planning on reaching out to you calling you to try to have a new beginning with you mm, but it says i'm behaving strangely because i'm hiding something from you i don't want you to find out yeah this person has been hiding something from you your emotional needs may go unmet i want you for my own personal gain yeah this person's coming back towards you for selfish reasons guys so this person, it's like, I do feel like this person does want to build something stable, but this person isn't in a place to offer that to you. This person's really coming back towards you because they don't want to lose you to somebody else. And that's selfish. They don't even really have the ability to offer you what you deserve, but they, it's like, they want to continue to have you there or string you along until they do get it together. If they even ever do. You know what I mean? So they're coming back in to try to reel you guys back in because they feel like you're getting away. They don't want you to be the one that got away. Look at this. I'm going to take a few months to come back. Keep your options open. I'm still very confused. So it's like, I don't feel like it's, if for some of you, it could take a few months before this person comes back. But um, what I'm feeling is like, this person is going to come back into your life, but they're still going to just be on their BS. Like, I don't know. Like, um, this person is coming back in, but they're still confused. And it's probably going to, whatever it is that they are still trying to wrap up in their life, it's still going to take a while before that comes to an end. Something It's like something else is going on here. Well, we did have love triangles. So let's take a look to see what's going on in this third party situation that's coming through. Because I feel like that's probably what it is. A big thing. So let's see here. Where is that deck? Where's my deck? Hmm. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, this person is trying to follow their heart. I feel like you do make this person really happy. They don't want to hide how they really feel from you anymore. They want to try to work this out. They want to try to work things out with you. Um, they want to try to save this connection or rekindle things between the two of you. Here we go. There's that sacrifice. There's something that this person feels or that they actually have to sacrifice for them to be with you. And they kind of feel like it's something pretty important or something very big. All right. But I feel like this person is willing to sac make, to take that risk of losing something to be with you. But yeah, it's like you guys set boundaries with this person because you felt like they weren't respecting you or they were just like doing the most. You know what I mean? Like this could be a twin flame connection. But uh, if not, you and this person could be mirroring each other. Cause, so you and this person... You and your, this, so for some of you, I know that you guys, some of you guys are saying you don't want this person, but some of you guys are yearning for reconnection with this person. You are yearning for... Um, some type of reconciliation with this person. If not, you and this person are mirroring each other. So you guys could be going through similar things in your lives right now, whether you know it or not. Especially if you're in no contact, you wouldn't know that. But look at this sneaky behavior. This person may well, like maybe would even ghost you um, for periods of time. Let's see here. This could have been somebody that was meeting up with you secretly. Ooh, this could have been somebody that you guys met at work. Or they would say that they couldn't meet up with you because they had to work. This person could be a workaholic. Yeah, this person's watching you from afar. This is maybe a relationship that didn't get that far off the ground. Like, you know, you and this person weren't together for like 10 years. This was like a fairly new connection or relationship. All right, tell me about this workplace affair. What's this workplace affair? Ooh, they were having some type of uh, sexual uh, relationship with somebody from their job. Or they would say that they couldn't work or that they couldn't meet up with you um, because they had to work. But when in reality, they were, you know, hooking up with people. You guys could have waited for this person a long time for them to get it together. 
This person is very destructive. All right. It could have been you guys that they were meeting up with um, to hook up with and meeting up with secretly. They would tell somebody that they were at work. They would tell this third party that they were at work when they were actually with you. Yeah, it could be that. Um, it could have been a lot of passion and chemistry between you and this person. But I see that this person, what is this? So tell me what this means for my collective. What does this mean for my collective? Yeah, I see that you guys, yeah, you guys put your guard up to this person because they were destructive. Like, you guys could have, it could have been very hard for you guys to pull your energy back from this person. Like, you guys could feel very, like, have felt very drawn to this person, very attached to them. Um, but I feel like you guys are resisting this connection now. You're guarded towards this person. You were tired of a third party situation. You were tired of them putting you through an emotional roller coaster. Yeah, separation. So you guys walked away. You're in separation. Oh, the spirit is saying that um, you felt like there was a lot of oh, unexpected here. Like I was very drawn to where it says this was a temporary separation. What's this unexpected? What's this unexpected? Ah, guys. What's unexpected is that this person's coming in with an apology. You guys may um be at work and then they're like, oh, you guys got a delivery. You got a delivery. And then there's a, a you know, some flowers. They sent you some flowers. Um, this person's going to come back and try to win you back over. All right. So what? Is it genuine or what? I don't feel like this third party is much involved here. I don't think that they're involved with this third party. Like there's not very, like there's a lot of energy of what's been going on with you guys. But in regards to the third party, I'm not seeing very much here. So I don't think they're very involved with that person. Um, but yeah, this person's afraid. One, a big blockage for this connection is this person's fears. They have a big ego. Mm. This person wanted to have their cake and to eat it too. They wanted to keep you and this other situation that they had going on. This person could be very charming. They know how to get over on people or get what they want. Hmm. Yeah, this person was playing you and the third party. They were telling you one thing. They were telling this third party one thing. They have very selfish... Int what did I just say, guys? Wants their cake and to eat it too. Exactly. They wanted both of you. But one of these situations they were staying in out of convenience. Because that was their comfort zone. Their heart was elsewhere. I feel like their heart was with you. But they were too afraid to completely step into, you know, their new life with you. They were a little bit afraid to leave that past life behind. What is this? What does this mean for my... this? Ah, this uh, third party has been trying to... This third party also is a little tricky, guys. This third party knows how to seduce your person. This third party knows your person's weaknesses. And they know how to um, get them to do what they want. But this person that you've been dealing with, they've been trying to avoid them. Yeah, this person has been not sleeping with this. If they were sleeping with this third party, they're not sleeping with them no more. They've been avoiding that person. I feel like your person has finally caught on to that person because I feel like they were um, emotionally manipulated for quite some time. But on the other hand, this person has been in this energy where they've been very confused about your connection and they've needed more time to decide like about if they want to pursue this or if this is something real, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and see here. Whew. Let's see what the um is going to happen in the future here. Let's see what the future holds. guys more energy here this person definitely slept on you guys or thought that there was something better than you guys or that there was a better option for them but they realized that that's not true this person tried to replace you or they thought that there was something better than you um yeah this person has some type of issues within their family too this is the second time that this has come out this person had to, to wrap up or resolve some type of family issues before 
some of these, some for some of you, this person was married, or they were in some type of commitment, or they just have a toxic family dynamic, and they had to get that under control before um, you guys could have something. And you guys maybe waited for this person, like I said, for a while. But spirit says, do not put your life on hold for this person. And I don't think you guys did, but now this person's missing you. They're, feel, it's, they're feeling like it's been very hard to be away from you. They're realizing that you how happy you made them. But it's this person. It's not you guys. You guys have done all that you can. This person is the one that needs to make changes. They're the one that needs to take action. As much as they want you to come back towards them, no. They're the ones that need to take action and make changes here. They need to take the lead if they want this. Or even have, you know, have, have a ch shot of having this again. Um... Yeah, we have Twin Flame here again. So for a lot of you guys, this is a Twin Flame connection. Um, I feel like they are realizing that this is some type of, this connection is special. But yeah, this person has been focused on their money. This person um, is a little bit materialistic too, guys. Like this person feels like they're not going to be happy or satisfied unless they have achieved something in regards to money and career. Um, maybe that was another blockage. This person didn't feel like they were where they needed to be um, financially. But it is, doesn't like this person is awakening here. We have that in a few months energy again. So maybe something could change in this connection within the next few months. Um, and they're going to want it. There's that more energy of a taking a leap of faith. So in a few months, this person could take a leap of faith towards you. So let's see here. All right. Tell me more about the future spirit. Yeah, there we have more of that contemplation energy. This person is very much up in their head. Oh, there's going to be some type of, ah, somebody has thought for too long. That's what spirit is saying. Spirit says, um, no, you've done enough thinking. You're taking too long. Now here comes divine intervention. Now fate's coming into play. So something is about to change here. Look at this, guys. Sudden, fast change. There's going to be some type of divine intervention. A shocking event, tower moment. What is this? Friendship. Somebody's going to let go. What is this? What does this have to do with the anger? Love. What is, okay, tell me what this has to do with friendships. So, this could have been somebody that... Um, you guys started off as friends or you guys were friends with benefits. And again, like I said, you felt like this person has wronged you in some way. Tell me more about anger. Something is changing. The dynamic of a relationship is changing here. You're going from, look at this, third party. Ooh, hold up. What is this anger in third party? Isolation. Somebody is removing themselves from a third party. Freeing themselves from a third party to take some time to, to think, to recharge here. there Because they were arguing. with They had some type of fight with the third party. Yeah, there's some type of clash here or fight with a third party. Because they have love for you. They want to restore what was lost between the two of you. So, why are they fighting with the third party? What's, what's going on with the third party? I don't know, whatever they're fighting with, they're learning some type of hard lesson from this situation. Time off. Because somebody is doing what makes them happy. And the third party is, so this person is choosing to reconcile with you, all right? And the third party knows about this, and they're not very happy about this, okay? They, they know that they want to restore something with you, and um, they're going to do what makes them happy. And the third party is not happy about this, all right? Ooh, they may even ghost this third party. They're not going to be speaking to them. They're going to be cutting off communication. Somebody's feeling rejected here. Tell me more about this reconciliation for my collectives. Travel. This could be somebody that lives at a distance from you. They may need to come towards you or they want to travel with you. They're wanting to escape another situation. So that's probably why they're coming to reconcile with you. Mm. What's this have to do with my collective? Happiness. Yeah. They're moving away from, they're trying to escape the sadness of another situation and they feel like you make them very happy. So they're coming towards you. Look at this. 
with a love offer. They're going to ask you out on the date. They're going to ask you to travel with them, go on a, on a trip with them. Wanting to, to commit to you, take the relationship to the next level. Tell me more about what's going on with them in this third party. What's happening with them in this third party? Because there's some... Okay. Whatever is happening between the two of them is a positive change. Somebody's gaining... They're risk, Okay. So they're they're closing out that cycle from the past with this third party and taking a risk. They're finally gonna that situation is finally gonna come to a close. Yeah, they're finally gaining closure with that situation, freeing themselves from that situation, becoming single from a situation. Um, and look at this, guys. Uh, this third party could be draining their money though. Yep, this third party could be taking a lot of money from them in child support, or they maybe you know somehow this person's draining money from them because they have children together possibly. Or they're dealing with a very childish third party. And that's what's been causing a lot of delays between you and the, for you and this person. But um, it's, been, it's been causing delays in this person offering you a commitment. Some of you guys, this person was married. But there, I'm telling you, there's going to be some type of divine intervention here. Yeah, in regards to their money, it's like their money is going to improve. And then they're going to want to come in forward. And they're going to, so they're going to have this renewed passion and want to come forward to you and date. Um, they, they're going to want to rebuild after a karmic cycle comes to an end here. All right. So Can you tell me about this spirit? You guys can be well, very well respected people, or you guys are in the spotlight. Some of you guys are like your success is public. I don't know how to explain that. They can see you doing very well for yourself, or you're in the spotlight in some way. You guys can be very popular people. Um, and it's like, this came out in somebody's reading today. Whose reading was it? Somebody sees you doing very well for yourself. And now all of a sudden they have a lot of faith in you guys being able to be together or they want you guys to be together because they see you have achieved something in your life. They see you're very well respected. So they feel like your relationship. Yeah. It's like you guys are blessed. Something good has happened in your life and they know about it. They feel you guys are very lucky people, so they want some of that luck, all right? So that's why they're coming back towards you. Mm-hmm. But, um, look at this. Yeah, and they put you guys on hold. Yeah, they, they thought that they could just, they thought, again, we have more. The grass is greener. This person thought the grass was greener on the other side. I don't know, guys. This person... I don't know. I feel like you guys are kind of going to put, if this person comes back, you're going to be putting them on the back burner. Um, some of you guys are going to flat out tell this person no, but for some of you um, are going to like maybe not say it no 100%, but you're going to just kind of like not give them as much energy as you used to in the past. Like this person's keeping tabs on you. Somebody that puts you on hold, they're seeing that you have achieved something in your life. And they're watching you. Yeah, they breadcrumbed you. They didn't. They were non-committal. They breadcrumbed you, and now they see. Yeah, now they're shaking their head because they're like, "Dang!" Like they're just. They felt like they were stupid. They they were stupid for putting you on hold. They were stupid stupid for thinking the grass is greener on the other side. For not seeing your potential. For sleeping on you. For breadcrumbing you. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Put on blast. Yeah, I feel like you guys are gonna um call this person out if they do come towards you this person is going to be coming back towards you trying to um charm their way back into your life but um try to butter you up love bombing you persuade you but i feel like you guys are going to put in this person on blast 
you guys are going to be very, like, detail. You guys, I'm telling you, you guys may not, like, completely, like, just block this person and tell them, no, like, don't talk to me. Yeah, I see communication between you and this person, but it's going to be very, like, you're going to be strategically interacting with this person. So, you're not going to be giving them that, you're not going to be texting back fast. Like, you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to wait a little bit before I reply to them. Or, it's like, you're going to be very strategic. You're going to keep this person wondering and guessing because they slept on you before. Like, no. You, and that's best. You can't just let this person back in and think what they did was okay. They're admiring you from afar. Yeah, some of you guys are going viral. Or there's some type of news about you that they've heard. Something about you guys being very popular. Or you, some type of luck. Something good has happened to you. Yeah, but you guys are very humble. You guys are very thankful and gracious for whatever this good these good things that have happened to you. You're really very gracious. Yeah, you're not like being conceited about it or, you know... Yeah, something has manifested for you guys, or it's going to manifest, and this person's going to know about it. And that's why they're going to want to come back towards you. All right, so what was I going to wrap up the reading with? I forget. Oh, I know. All right, any other underlying energies that have not come through yet, Spirit? Any other underlying energies? Ooh, what is that? All right, so tell me about this. Mm. So I don't think that this has anything to do with race, guys. So the spiritualist card came out. The spiritualist card came out. So this person may have had some type of weird opinion about spirituality. That's what I'm getting here. They could know that you guys are very spiritual people. And they already had some type of prejudice against that. All right. They, it's like, they, they thought that spirituality was maybe evil or that it was dark. But that's not true. All right. They're seeing that your spirituality or your beliefs or your faith paid off for you. That's what it is, guys. Yep, they're seeing that your spirituality and your beliefs paid off for you. So now they're like, let's see here. This person was lied about something to you um, to try to control an outcome or to control how you, you know, how you your relationship with them because it's like something like they thought that if you found out about it that you would probably cut them off or probably have nothing to do with them ever again um what does this karmic card mean for the um so somebody's dealing with a karmic i feel like you guys had this other this karmic that they were um tell me more about this I feel like you guys are very gentle and very loving, very caring with this person. But this karmic that they were dealing with was not like that. It's like you guys had a lot more love and you cared about this person a lot more than this karmic did. But guys, I'm telling you this person, I feel like that money had something to do with this. They had money invested in this karmic or in this situation, cause especially if there was children. Yeah, this karmic is very um, jealous of you. They may have chose this karmic over you because of financial reasons. Um, and they broke your heart. Now this person's wanting to come in saying, I'll do like what can I do to make it right? What can I do to heal this situation? But I feel like this person isn't coming in and taking full accountability or ownership for for health concern. What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> what? What is this? What about a health concern? People please or habits. So they could be, um, somebody could have a, somebody could be sick. Somebody close to them could be going through some type of health issues. 
and they feel like they need to um, do whatever that person says or they need to be there for they need to please that person because they're sick or they're going through some type of health issue or it's like maybe somebody uses like some type of illness or health issue or concern that they have to try to um, they said like they play the martyr you know what I mean they like victim I'm surprised that card didn't come out what is this people pleaser Ooh, somebody has an addiction. That's what it is. Somebody has an addiction. It could be this. What's up with this? So, ooh, so they could have somebody around them that's a an addict. And they need money from them a lot. Interesting. We need to talk ASAP. What is with this? Addiction, beggar, moocher. Somebody's blackmailing them. So somebody's saying that if they don't give them money or help them financially, that they have some type of dirt on them and they're going to use that against them. Ah, yeah. They're going to take them to court. They're going to take them to court. There's some type of legal situation is going to break out. Somebody's blackmailing somebody and saying, if you don't do what I tell you to do, or if you don't do this for me, I'm, I'm going to, I have some, you know, dirt on you. I'm going to take this to the police. I'm going to take you to court. And I am going to get custody of the kids. I am going to get more child support. I am going to get this from you, etc. Mm. Somebody could have a kid, too. For some of you, somebody could have a baby. And, like, the person that they had a baby with or got pregnant could be telling them that they want to take them to court for child support or something. Is what I'm seeing here. That could be for some of you. All right, so... Let's see here. Let's do some of these. All right. Give me four cards to wrap up this reading. Unconventional. So for some of you guys, this could be same sex relationship. If not, this is just like a relationship that goes against social norms or that's unconventional. So it could be, um, you got, it could be, I mean, I guess like, I wouldn't even say a blended family is unconventional anymore, but like, it could be, you guys are a blended family. This could be a mixed race relationship. This could be, like I said, same sex. It's it, it in somebody's eyes, this goes against norms. Okay. Look at this love sacrifice, more energy here of sacrifice. It could be somebody feeling like they have to sacrifice. It says, don't sacrifice yourself in seeking love. You'll end up unhappy. That's what I was saying, guys. Like, this person was thinking about everything that they were sacrificing or would have to sacrifice um, by you guys coming together and being in a relationship. But what they didn't realize was that how much you were sacrificing yourself. You know what I mean? You were sacrificing a lot of yourself. You were losing yourself and trying to love this person. You'll end up unhappy and hating yourself for it. Be with someone who makes you feel good. Yeah, you guys are losing yourself over a person that didn't even make you guys feel good or, you know, that wasn't giving you what you deserved. Hot gossip. It's sad how many people, it's sad how some people are so jealous of you that they only neg they only have negative things to say when they know nothing about you. I feel like that's his karmic or this, or this person's karmic um, has a lot of bad things to say about you, but they don't even know you. It's just the fact that I feel like if you're this person, they know this person has love for you. Yeah, be vulnerable here, guys. Allow them to see your true feelings. Being vulnerable is the only way to allow your heart to experience true pleasure. Dare to love openly. So for those of you those of you that do want to work out things with this person, you guys are going to have to let that guard down. So that you're going to have to make that decision if that's something you can do or not. That will determine if this will be able to work out or if this will even be able to get off the ground again. Um, we have trust. Love is in the air, but you must have enough courage to trust and look past what you've been through. That's what I'm just saying, guys. So if you guys are able to, you know, put what has happened between you and this person or whatever they did in the past and not hold a grudge, then, you know, maybe this can work out. But for this to be able to work out, you're going to have to let that go. It says, this person is coming back towards you with good intentions. Yes, they are messy. They have a lot of mess going on in their life. But I feel like ultimately this person does have good intentions for you. And I feel like this person was very um, not self-aware in the past. This person wasn't aware of how, um, how do I say that? They weren't aware of how 
they were affecting you with their choices or, you know, their lack of making a decision, stringing you along, you know, I feel this person was acting out of a lot of ego and fear and they probably weren't ready for you when they met you or encountered you. All right. But I think I'm going to wrap it up there. I kind of wanted to see here, like we already kind of see what this person's, um, intentions are. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I wanted to take a look at for you guys. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to step away. So let's just wrap it up by seeing. Let's do past, present, and future. What was this relationship? Let's what in a nutshell, what was this relationship like in the past for my collective? In the past, what was this relationship in the past for my collective? So this was somebody that you were on and off with. You guys had an on and off relationship with this person. Um, I feel like you kept giving this person chances. So what about in the present? Or in the recent, let's see here. So it looks like there's going to be a wish granted for you guys. You guys are having somebody come in here. Um, it does not even necessarily have to be this person, but you guys have somebody that's coming in that's going to be a wish fulfillment for you. All right, and what's the future looking like? Hold on, hold on. And what's the future look like for this connection? Is this going to work out? Is this person going to, you know... Mmm, we have abstinence, so... You guys are going to be holding out on this person. Yeah, you guys are going to be holding out on this person. You're not going to give in to them very easily. But it looks like you and this person, we have healing love here. This love will force you to heal all those parts of yourself you've been neglecting. You deserve healthy love. Yeah, we have rocky start. It says rocky starts can lead to happy endings. You'll have to decide if it's worth the fight. The choice will be yours. So the choice is going to be yours. This person's coming back. Um, and for a lot of you, this is something that you wanted. But it's going to be up to you whether or not you want this or, you know, to reconcile with this person. Or if you want to be done with this situation. All right? All right? All right? All right?